forward to the cloud. Okay, hi everybody. Um, thanks for joining Jenkins GSOC, Jenkins in GSOC office hour. Um, today is May 30th. So um, thank you for everybody who had filled out their updates. This will help move things along very nicely. Thank you, I appreciate it. So let's go right into it. So Shlomo, I have you uh, first on the agenda for your update. Hi everyone. Yeah, I'm just gonna share my screen so you guys can see what I've done. Oh, it says uh, I can't share while you're sharing. Okay, there you okay. go. Okay, can you guys see that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I kind of have uh, been working on just fine tuning the UI and trying to get everything like organized and looking well. So this is the landing page. This is what it looks like now. Um, the statistics and detail page is kind of like a dashboard view. So you can see like the overall trends of the plugin usage, total jobs, installations. And there's also like a section for the monthly analysis. Um, and then what I really did this week was work on the plugin installation page. So here you can see like all of the plugins and you see like a, a little chart that shows the overall trend in installations. And if you click into it, you can see like more details into that specific trend, uh, plugin. So I think one of the main challenges right now is just trying to verify if the, if the data is actually like good data because some, it seems like some of the plugins are missing like important numbers and, and what, the, what the information actually conveys because like, for example, for the installations over time and installations percentage over time, it seems like these, these data is like tracking each other. So I, I kind of need to look into like what exactly that data is trying to show and, and maybe find a better way to present it. And another challenge would be just kind of gathering all of the data from the source, which we're still working on, um, waiting on her bit to just get back to us and, and see how we're going to do that. But overall, just fine tuning the UI and trying to get everything looking nice. It's already very promising. In fact, I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Congrats. Very yeah. good work. Well done. Um, John Mark, do you know? I think Orve is back, is he? Uh, some kind of because I already heard that he's uh, full up to the nose and in, into new work and new challenges and things. So we we should not hesitate to ping. And uh, Shlomo, if if uh, you're you're stuck, but uh, this also for the mentor. So talk to your mentor and to the org admins to be sure that you're not stuck. Do you have other items where you need Hervé? Um, mostly it was just gathering the data for now. Uh -huh. But as, as it, every, everything like new things come up as, as we progress through it. So every day is a new challenge. Okay. Hervé is in the loop of your, your questions. He's, he's missed a few of our, our weekly calls, but I think he's going to start joining from now on and, and we'll just get him up to date. Okay. Okay. But do you have a channel of communication with yeah, yeah, we the rest of the team? And so, yeah. yeah, he may answer asynchronously, but he would be better if he answered <laughs> instead of, yeah. yeah, just let us know if he doesn't answer sure. never, ever, so that you can get in touch with him. We know he's under the weather currently but uh, we'll do our best to get him to answer your question you should not stay stuck mm -hmm. for whatever reason yeah especially and... seeing what you have already been doing Alisa back to you. yeah oh um I was just gonna add he's usually pretty responsive on slack as well so don't hesitate to use that yeah sure. okay um I think Chris, is there anything you like to add for for this, Chris, before we move on? Yeah, I think it's like besides the logistics, which we have to take care of after confirming with Javier, uh, we're on we're on the right track. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Shlomo, do you know what you're going to do next week? Um, next week, I, I'm kind of just tackling one page per week. So this is the plugin detail page, and then. Next week, I'll probably work on the other page. I'm not exactly sure which one it was, but yeah, okay. kind of just trying to tackle one page at a time. Okay, but you have a clear view where you're going 
Yeah. And okay, good. So this is what I I wanted to hear. Okay, back to you, Elisa. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Sridhar. Hello, everyone. So can you hear me? Yes, we yes. can. Yeah. So uh, just now my exams are completed. So I'm just free from my examination. And I'll just start the official coding from tomorrow. Specifically to say, I'll just start working on the CLA module, which is a, which is a starting phase of the project. And yeah, the roadmap is completed and it's available on this uh, data project page. So you can just uh, basically just organize all the paths that you're just going to work on. And uh, yeah, so basically I have all, all to do's that you just listed up here. I'll just work based upon these to do's and I'll just also estimate the timings uh, based on these to do's. Uh, and uh, also just now the weekly meeting happens and we discuss about the approach that how you're just going to uh, to approach this project, uh, whether it's DDD or a behavior de delivery development or something like that. And also we just discussed about the libraries that we're just going to use the, use in the issue module. It should be further discussed in this uh, asynchronous communications or in the Slack channel. Yeah, that's it from myself. I'm, I'm just not started the official coding part yet. I'll just start from tomorrow. Yeah. Sounds good. Did you survive your exams? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Provide so you're ready. And the heat wave. Yeah. Has that improved any? The uh, heat wave? Okay in, uh, uh, in, in my, my part of the country. It's quite okay. hot in the other part of the country. In the, in the northern side, it's, it's quite uh, nearer to 50 degrees Celsius. But in, in my, I'm south of India, so it's quite uh, better in, in our place. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks. Okay. Good to know. I need, need to learn the geography of India. I need to oh, study. Oh, man. It. I hope you have a few years ahead of you because you <laughs> will take some time. Oh, well, yeah. Anyway, go okay. ahead, Elisa. Um, Valentine, is there va Valentine? Sorry, is there anything you'd like to add? Uh, no, no, not on my uh, side. We just start the uh, before the the weekly meeting, so no, no blocker, no side. Okay. Okay, great. Sounds good. Daniel and Alissa. Yes. Is is uh, he is French speaking? The way to say it exactly is Valentin. Hein? Thank you, Valentin. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Valentin. Val really? Okay. Yeah, Valentin. Valentin. Is there an it's... English way? Yeah. <laughs> Is there an I English heard. way that it's acceptable? Valentine, maybe. I'm not Valen... sure. Yeah, because with us in the US, it has an E. So it's Valen... Valentine. With, at the but, end, the last yeah. letter. Yeah. 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 But this is the feminine but, form of the. Uh, of yeah, the but also anyway. you folks using that, you know, even for guys, uh, you know, would you be my Valentine? Uh, does it also work for uh, <laughs> males? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know. So this is Valentine, a message. Yeah. yeah. It's a, well, isn't the originally, it's, it's a, the Valentine came from, is named after a, was it a saint or something like that? And that was a he, you know? We need to, to research that. We yeah, need to research. Do to be honest, yeah, I don't know at all. <laughs> okay. it, it will be your, your assignment for next next meetings. Yeah. Now, yeah, I have I'm a message. Not... Yeah. Okay. I have a message to the, the other participants. Uh, I, for me, it's important. Please correct us if we don't say your first name in the correct or usual way and we're here to learn and we want to respect also the names and not uh, yeah. smash Keep something against the wall depending on the region we grown up in uh there are certain sounds we just can't make with our mouth so <laughs> yeah we'll do our best <laughs> do our okay. best yes at six o'clock in the morning especially <laughs> so <laughs> please forgive yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay Dan Yang. Yeah, and uh, this week I'm working on the testing the pull request to about like you know, add a member or members and in the, you know virtual organization. So it's, it won't be happening in uh, RPU. And uh, next week I'm uh, 
finding about the delayed member or, and uh, try to summarize and the other possible functions um, on, onto my project. And uh, um, since the, it's the coding period, uh, I will begin to document uh, everything every week. And, uh, um, but I'm not find a good, um, good place. Uh, so it's maybe in the GitHub repo, they have a document. So, and this week our RPU weekly meeting happens. So um, we have a good um, communication. Yeah. Uh, the, the lead mentor is Alex, okay, Alex. am I wrong? Yeah, you're correct. Oh, okay, that's right. Alex, do you have a comment or? Um, yesterday, I think Bruno created an organization on GitHub outside of a typical Jenkins CI organization infrastructure. Um, then Dan can mess with, create test repositories and verify the data without touching any components in the staging environment, for example. Uh, oh, I, I think feel comfortable with that, okay. Mm -hmm. I think Bruno and Danjan and I and the others have received the invites and joined already the organization. Mm -hmm. If I'm not, yeah, I see Bruno nodding. So I think yeah. that's a good way to start ahead. Uh, right. Daniel, do you feel comfortable now in the project? Do you have the, I've, uh, from from the report from Alex, there's some good guidance there. What What is your feeling there? Yes, of course, it, it's good. And uh, yesterday, I, I asked so many questions about my project, and uh, I, I I all have the good answers. And now, now I'm really clear to what to do next, and maybe the next month, and yeah. Oh, I like to hear that. Okay, good. Good point. Because uh, I, I was worried with the long time difference, but I see that you're coping with that. It really looks great. Okay. Good. All right. So. Um, Philip. Yeah. Um, I'm working currently on unit tests for HPI. I opened last week and uh, second week before and I got some feedback from Chris about uh, testing my changes and I have already converted some Jira, GitHub and Artifactory APIs from Groovy to Java and also in this step I improved the exception handling of um, API call, uh, calls uh, to our APIs what we're using and also I was uh, included in the App you weekly, and I have already also joined in the organizations and also written down some changes there in the uh, no um in the docs for uh, what uh, Bruno made. That's my current progress. Are you feeling good? I, I it sounds like that. You're making good yeah, progress. You know well. where you're digging. Yeah, um, today I think I make also a little board for me to a little bit organize myself more what I what is done and what I uh, still needed to to have be done. Okay, good. Alex, anything to add to that, Alex? Uh, nothing in particular. Philip does a great job at this. However, currently the all Groovy files have no unit tests or no test coverage at all. And Philip <laughs> basically needs to invent it from scratch. But I think he's confident with that and that is no real blocker for us. Nice. Okay. Um also just checking in, how is your move, Alex? Are you all set with your move? Partly. Currently I'm sitting in my old flat in my living room because my office is already in my new flat. So a bit of unexpected environment here, but everything is working fine. I okay. can relate to that, Alex. I can relate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. John Mark is also in the process of the move. Yeah. Well, next week I'll be back in Brussels. So because my 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 work table is currently just a, ta a camping table. So. And you oh. don't even know about his chair. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That's being driven development. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the rain we, we have here. Okay, let's mm. let's get back to, to business. Back to you, Elisa. Okay. Um Nor LLM model. 
You can hear me, right? Yes, we can. Yes. Okay. Do we pronounce your first name correctly? Yes, Noor. Yes, it is. Noor with <laughs> with a rolling R, Edisia. Okay, need to yes. train. Go okay. ahead. Uh, I think I only missed one uh, instance of our office hours, so I couldn't have the chance also to uh, to ask during my final exam. Do we share our updates on the agenda uh, before the office hours? Yeah, so I have sent on a calendar a calendar invite to everybody um, weekly to add your update onto this document because um, just to help us move things along fast here. But you know, if we don't, then you can always okay. do it after the meeting um, once I publish the the recording. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, but uh, go ahead and just give us your update now. Okay, great. Um, okay, about the LLM, mm -hmm. uh, we are currently resuming the effort of uh, collecting uh, some data. I managed to use the question posted on uh, the, com uh, the community, just, just collecting some questions and their reliable answers by Jenkins contributors. Um, I also you um, also using Jenkins um, documents or blogs we have uh, on uh, the repo the GitHub repositories. So I have now about um, uh, four thousand um, one fifty of uh, questions with the, the re reliable answers. Um, I also as I shared previously, I'm sharing the some data uh, with mentors from data exchange and I will be updating the mentors on the channel uh, on the new data I obtained and uh, take their feedback. So um, we do have a bi-weekly instance for now uh, until I finish my final exams as well. So we have an instance tomorrow to follow up on the progress we, uh, we have so far. It sounds good. Mm -hmm. So you're making progress, you know where you're going, you get the uh, the help you want, need. So you're doing good beside your exams. Well, not besides, but uh, the exams are probably top priority uh, in your head. Good, I'm very curious in, in well, I hope with the 4,000 and so questions, there are also answers. Mm -hmm. with that <laughs> so, and, and with all those questions might be time to reread the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy with the the answer being 42 but anyway yes but why <laughs> <laughs> why but anyway so let's get uh, serious uh, Chris do you have something to add about here mm, looks promising yeah, it looks good. Except like we haven't uh, like we haven't had a meeting last week, so um, we have another one tomorrow. So I'll find out more later. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. And, yes, right. and and time wise, we don't have any issues. I think Noor is on uh, GMT plus one. GMT and plus two. Yes. Two. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. As many of us, I think. Well, I need, uh, okay. I thought uh, uh, Turkey is on GMT plus one. I, I, okay, but so you're managing with Chris. Chris uh, uh, doesn't sleep. No, he stays. Oh, I, do, I, do. I do, I do, I do sleep. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you sleep shortly. I'm impressed by your work schedule. <laughs> I, yeah. I couldn't do it. Yeah, Mark. Anyway, looks very good. I'm, I'm really... Um, waiting for the presentations and, and the progress uh, reports of that. Really great stuff. Yeah, agreed. Um, so I have started the blog post for um, our ending, at, at end of the bonding period. Um, so I see Dan Yang has provided her part. Philip, thank you. Sridhar, thank you. So, um, Nora, after this meeting, if you could provide um, that your update here and Shlomo. Yeah. Um, a question, uh, Noor. Uh, you have currently exams or 
Do you have the time to do that or do you need to prioritize? Don't hesitate yeah, I... to talk about that with Chris. Okay. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I had the time to do that, but I wanted to share it with my with the project mentors first. So I felt uh, I can share it on uh, the Slack channel we have right after the meeting so I can take their feedback before posting it on the, the document, if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, sh sure. Yeah. Just that we keep that in mind uh, because communicating with the community and with the people around is also important. But exams are I believe to I believe I'll be feeling much better after I finish my exams, but I'm trying <laughs> to avoid it. Yeah. Okay. But, but anyway, it's with the mentors that you need to discuss these priorities and and so on, but this blog post is for the whole community, so. Yeah. Right, yeah, and yeah, anytime if there's, you know, you have a, a a roadblock or you have exams, just, and, you know, if I send out things like this, um, feel free to let me know that, you know, you don't have the bandwidth at the moment or you can't meet the deadline, because what I try to do is, um, provide a certain document and provide a deadline and give you guys some uh, time, lead time to work on the the project. So, and you know, if you certain if you can't because of exams and or travel things like that, just don't hesitate to let That's me know, right. and we'll we'll figure out a way to work it. Okay. Um. Cool. So I will once I have everybody's input here, I will try to get this on pull request to. Day, if possible, or tomorrow. Again, depending on the response, everybody's responses that I collect here. Um, so try to get this out maybe tomorrow or early or on Monday for me. Okay. Um, okay. I think that's all I have. Is there somebody who would like to add, raise a point before we close? All right, cool. cool. Hey, good. Hey, okay. nice seeing you and seeing the progress. Oh, it's it's yeah. It's a good time in the week. Yeah. Enjoying and it. For two of you, I don't know if there is an equivalent in English. Sorry, I'll try to be quick. Uh, it's time to mettre le jambon.